Ukraine down. Kanada, nekada simbol modernog svijeta, je pod vodstvom vaše kvazi liberalne čizme proteklih mjeseci postala simbol kršenja temeljnih ljudskih prava i građanskih sloboda. Za vas su to možda liberalne metode. Međutim, za mnoge građane svijeta to je diktatura najgore vrste. minister who openly admires the Chinese basic dictatorship who tramples on fundamental rights by persecuting and criminalizing his own citizens as terrorists just because they dared to stand up to his perverted concept of democracy should not be allowed to speak in this house at all. Mr. Trudeau, you are a disgrace for any democracy. Please spare us your presence. Thank you. is a liberal candidate implicated in a foreign interference network. Their names. Honorable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I've addressed a number of questions, uh, a number of answers uh, along the lines of national security. But I do want to point out uh, another issue that I know is preoccupying for Canadians. Just recently, Conservative Party MPs knowingly dined with a far-right German politician. Mr. Speaker, Christine Anderson and her party's far-right, xenophobic, anti-science, pro-Putin views are well known. His carefully crafted condemnation that neither he nor his MPs uh, will repeat publicly just won't cut it. It's time he gave Canadians real answers and apologized. The Leader of the Opposition. Prime Minister's office was briefed three weeks before the 2019 election about a candidate that was implicated in a foreign interference network. Which members of the Prime Minister's staff were present for that briefing? Their names, please. The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, it is extremely important that as a parliament, that as parliamentary committees, that as a government, and that as Canadians, we look into the issue of foreign interference. It's why at Parliamentary Committee, the Ministers of Democratic Institutions and Foreign Affairs are scheduled to appear tomorrow. PROC has heard from Elections Canada, from the Director of CSIS, from the Chief of the CSE, the Deputy Commissioner of the RCMP, the Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, and the Deputy Minister of International Trade. And to quote the member from Carleton, for hundreds of years, the principle of ministerial accountability has been paramount in the House and in committee. We agree. Oh, right. here. The Leader of the Opposition. Well, if he believes that he should be responsible, then he should answer the question. Which members of his staff were briefed by CSIS that one of his candidates was implicated? And was Katie Telford, his chief of staff, among those briefed? Yes or no? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Canadians can well see that there are important partisan and political considerations uh, overlaying all these exchanges in the House, which is why Canadians want us to be able to step back as a country and say what actually happened, who actually uh, was doing their job to protect against foreign interference, and uh, were everyone, uh, was everyone doing the right things. That's why pulling forward an independent expert to oversee the work that is being done to ensure that everything that needed to be done was done, was done properly, and that is continued to be done is going to be important, and that's what we're proposing.